Good day, Philippines. This is Mike Padua, and we're back to our usual tropical weather analysis for today, Friday through Monday, November 4 to 7, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. It looks like the Philippine Islands is uh, back to normal without any uh, tropical uh, cyclone formation. And the winds is now from the east, but today it's again blowing from the northeast. So northeasterly or easterlies, we expect some good weather all across the uh, archipelago. Except during noontime, afternoon or evening, there will be the usual rain showers and thunderstorms because of the uh, uh, high occurrence of the La Nina climate. That's why even if we have good weather in the morning, sunny skies, blue skies, in the afternoon we expect these uh, rain showers and uh, thunderstorms. Isolated ones, like here in Naga a few hours ago, we experienced some heavy downpour for just 15 minutes. And, uh, and the amount of rainfall was measured at around uh, 32 millimeters with a high rain rate of... Uh, 172 millimeters per hour so it could uh, cause some uh, quick flooding in low-lying areas uh, and uh, so far after that receding uh, flood waters will uh, persist so this kind of thunderstorm activity is uh, persistent in uh, most parts of the philippine islands we have here a low pressure area 95w uh, less than 35 percent probability of becoming a tropical cyclone but uh, this uh, area of low is expected to weaken and dissipate in the next uh, couple of days and uh, if we take a look at the uh, fast animation there you go the cloudiness of the lpa is now beginning to uh, disappear Okay, while well, thunderstorms beginning to uh, form in various sections of the country in this uh, afternoon. And here's uh, the uh, latest uh, from the windy.com zoom in satellite animation. As you can see, uh, these are localized thunderstorms generated by the uh, northeasterly to easterly surface wind flow. And because we are still on the La Nina climate, so we expect every day the chances of thunderstorms and rain showers will prevail even without tropical cyclones or low pressure areas. So this is the forecast for the next three days until Monday. By tomorrow afternoon, we expect again possible rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly over Luzon and um, Mindanao. Sunday afternoon, again, uh, moderate to high chance of thunderstorm activity all throughout the country. And on Monday afternoon, the usual thunderstorms will uh, still persist in the afternoon or evening. As for the wind forecast and the pressure forecast so far, based on the European model, it's all clear. Northeasterly and easterly winds will be expected in various sections of the Philippine Islands until uh, Monday. So there's nothing unusual. Uh, northeast monsoon will be uh, expected over extreme northern Luzon, and that's it. Uh, so far, it's all clear. Here is the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two weeks. So for week two, valid November 9 to November 15, there's a 20% chance of a tropical cyclone uh, formation. But right now, based on the latest uh, uh, forecast, because this forecast was issued uh, two days ago, it looks like it's already down to zero, but we are under the above average rainfall for this week, okay? Week 2, November 9 to 15. And on week 3, valid November 16 to 22, the Philippine Islands remains under uh, above average rainfall probability of more than 50%. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas in, because in the afternoon and evening we expect these rain showers and thunderstorms. Here's the culprit why we are still experiencing this kind of uh, everyday rainfall. This is due to the uh, La Nina phenomenon which is right now at 92%. So it's quite high at moderate levels, moderate La Nina. And we expect in the next uh, six months it will start to weaken and uh, come February, March, and April, uh, we are going to shift into neutral or lanada conditions, okay? And then that will be uh, the uh, uh, climate all throughout of 2023 until August at neutral 
climate and we have here a, a signs of a uh, impending el nino but it's still early to tell okay this forecast is up to uh, almost a year so that's how uh, la nina and el nino known as the enzo forecast do okay they create uh, almost a year of forecast updated every uh, month with some uh uh, quick update during the last uh, part of the month. So this is mid-October based on the forecast. Now here's the uh, possible rainfall amounts for the whole of the Philippine Islands beginning November, December up to January 2023 based on the October issuance of the uh, Institute of International Research uh, Institute of the Columbia University. And as you can see here, the Philippine Islands remains at uh, La Nina conditions with uh, more than 60% uh, uh, above normal precipitation, particularly over Palawan, Northern Luzon, and also various sections of the Philippine Islands, including the Bicol region and Davao region as well. Okay, so far that's the latest for this uh, Friday, and we will see you again on Monday to give you the very latest on upcoming weather systems across the Philippine Islands and uh, Western Pacific. This is Mike Padua. Happy weekend to all. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel.